Dundee United, Tyrone. Yeah, they do like a ride in the old management merry-go-round, Norman. Yes, indeed, United prop up the SPL, and over the last 24 hours, they've taken drastic action to turn things round. Well, Stephanie Daly joins me live. Stephanie, it's been another dramatic day down Tannadice Way. It certainly has, Tyrone. They say a week's a long time in football. What about a weekend? Craig Brewster is the fifth manager in four years to head out of the Tannadice exit doors behind me after he parted company with the club yesterday. Today, as the SPL managerial merry-go-round swung into overdrive, there's a new man in the Tannadice hot seat, former Hearts and Leicester City boss Craig Levine. Just 24 hours after Craig Brewster left Tannadice by mutual consent, Craig Levine was unveiled as the new Dundee United manager. The former Hearts, Leicester and most recently Wraith Rovers boss has signed a two and a half year deal. With just two wins in 28 SPL games, Saturday's disastrous 5-1 defeat to Falkirk was the last straw for chairman Eddie Thompson. Levine is United's sixth manager in four years. He says it was an opportunity he couldn't turn down. Because I think it's a it's a good club with great potential uh, and, a, and a chairman who is who is ambitious. Um, you know that ticks a lot of boxes for me. And I think that you know th this club, I look at uh, the squad of players, and I think there's obviously an element of, of underachievement there. But uh, there's a good youth set up. Uh, there, there's uh, there's money available in the January transfer window to to bring players in. Uh, that's even more boxes ticked. So you know there's there's a lot of reasons to want to be here. And while reluctant to make any specific predictions, Levine is confident he can turn fortunes around. I've been in football a long time and, and uh, if you manage to get me to make a prediction, this will be the first time. I, I never do that. I think that what I have to, to do with the players here is, is bring out improvement in them, uh, individually and collectively. And that in itself will, in, will improve the results. Uh, and that is all that I'm focusing on just now. With United rooted to the bottom of the SPL and relegation a real threat, Chairman Eddie Thompson is only too aware how vital it is that he's made the right appointment. Yes, it is critical that he does succeed. I haven't given him any targets this year apart from he just says he's going to move us up the league. He's also agreed with me a budget for January where he can spend some money either in terms of wages or loans or transfer fees. I, it's up to him to tell you this, but I have no doubts you'll need to bring in some players in certain positions, having watched the team in the last few weeks. And Levine faces a baptism of fire in his first game in charge, with Rangers the visitors at Tannadice on Sunday. Well, joining me now is Joe Duncan from the Federation of Dundee United Supporters Clubs. Joe, thanks for joining us. First of all, what do you make of today's appointment? Well, I think, I think when you had a look around and you saw what was on offer, I think Craig Levine was the best appointment we made. Um, what he'd done at Hearts, he took them to two third place finishes and uh, got them into Europe where they've done quite well. Let's just hope he can do that at Tannadice. And of course, it was quite a quick change. Do the fans feel it was time for Brewster to go? I feel when you look at the, t uh, the league table, it doesn't lie, you know, we're bottom of the league, we're one point uh, adrift, and I think Craig knew himself it was perhaps time to go, and uh, Eddie's moved quickly to bring in Craig Levine, but I think uh, Craig uh, Bristol will always be remembered as a legend for the goal he scored in 94, and uh, from the fans, I'd like to say, Craig, all the best for the future, and thanks for all the hard work you've done here. How critical is it that uh, Craig Levine is the right appointment for Dundee United? It's very critical, you know, um, Oh, we we'll hope he's the right appointment. You know, we've been we've had a few managers in the last few years, and they've not always been the right ones. Uh, but he's got the right pedigree. He's uh, you know he knows the Premier League like the back of his hand. I'm quite confident he will be the right appointment. I mean, obviously, as you say, a few managers in the last few years. Are the fans getting fed up with the constant change? Well, when you've had someone like Jim McLean, who's been in charge of the club for so long as manager, it, it, it's quite hard to take. You know, different managers coming in all the time. But I feel when you look at it. it when those managers went, they had to go, it was the right time, their performances weren't right. But I also feel the players have got a lot to answer for in uh, that matter. OK, I mean, where did the fans hope that Levine will take United this season? Well, a top place, a top place finish would be brilliant, but uh, really uh, get us away from a relegation battle with too many of them over the years. And uh, just, you know, bring a bit of pride back to this club, you know. We need it, the fans need it, you know. And uh, let's just hope you can do that. OK, Joe, thanks very much for joining us. The wind of change seems to blow so often here at Tannadice. Let's hope for more settled times ahead. Tyrone Bell. Another couple of jobs to be resolved, but Craig Levine is the man to keep Dundee United in the SPL. That's the belief of the club's owner, Eddie Thompson, as he employs his sixth manager in four years. Levine succeeds Craig Brewster, whose reign was ended following Saturday's 5-1 defeat by Falkirk. Alistair Lamont reports. It's well good.
There were no poison chalices on view at Tanadice as Craig Levine met the assembled media. But the new Dundee United manager is under no illusions as to the task that faces him to preserve the club's SPL status. We're sitting in the uh, bottom place at this minute in time in the, in the SPL. Uh, but I'm confident enough in my ability to improve the side. And, uh, you know, I've got a lot of weeks left between now and the end of the season. And the intention, as, as you probably know, I, I never make predictions or, or anything like that. But I'm fairly confident I can make improvements in the team. Soaks to the byline. The weekend defeat here. for the Arabs at Falkirk proved to be the straw that broke the camel's back for Craig Brewster. Trying to warm his way through. Inept to defending has defined United's season, Stokes and Saturday was no again. different as Falkirk Stokes. took full advantage of their sloppiness. Second goal for Falkirk. Levine's first task must be to build a meaner defence if he's to meet the immediate target set for him by the chairman. Only to move upwards in actual fact. I don't want to start talking about we should be in the top six, we should this and so on. You can see our position at the moment. All that Craig and I have agreed is we're going to move forward this season and then we'll talk from there and follow on the following season. So no pressure there then. Levine's tied up at United on a two and a half year contract. You'll be hoping not to become the latest manager to fail to live up to Eddie Thompson's high standards.